Kepler. for a great cause. Uh, shout out to Gauntlet Films for always putting on an amazing production. Um, 11th of the evening, Stephen Dunbar, Mike Rapinello coming up. Mendez boxing and trained by Alex Serna and Jacqueline Rung. Steven Dunbar. Steven Dunbar, six foot one, 180 pounds. He's a structural engineer in boxing and in Mendez boxing. In a decent amount of metal. It almost sounds like it's back in the village. Is this Maiden? Reminds me of Iron Maiden if it's not. I might, I, I wish uh, I had my, my Muse uh, mat. Uh, oh no, it's certainly not Maiden. Steven Dunbar again, six foot one, 180. Mike Raffanello, 5'11", 185, about to be announced next. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds and trained by Jonathan Brookins, Mike Rapaniello! Again, Mike Rapaniello, 5'11", 185, four years the senior of his opponent, Stephen Dunbar. He's 35 years old to Stephen's 31. He's an investment banker. Fairly big boys. Comparable tail of the tape. You like the 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 duty Our free generic <laughs> mix from Mike Raven Yellow there. Petrillo. All right, gentlemen, want you keep your heads up and head behind your head. Watch your little blow. I don't want to see you holding. Okay, shake hands. Didn't didn't miss much, Matt. What do you mean, dude? I've All been right. here the whole time. All right, how are we looking? Both orthodox boxers. Raffanello driving real out deep, fast. yeah, with that with that jab. Good diversity of uh, offense from Raffanello early. Raffanello in the blue. Yep. Going over his toes quite a bit. Uh, would be interesting to see if Dunbar could take advantage with an uppercut, but again, it's early in the fight. And that's a matter of. Raffanello continues with that. Yeah. He's got good hips. Yeah. Raffanello turned into stuff over and uh, that fairly diverse offense, but uh, good Dunba right Dunbar's Dunba. got a great neutral guard. He does. He's catching those body shots on his elbows. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Kind of an interesting matchup in the sense that uh, Dunbar, nice neutral guard. Uh, Raffanello there, uh, good, good volume. Yeah. Raffanello really dropping his hands, but done by not keeping him honest. Yeah. When he when he uh, when he fights, done by just missing with that right hand. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see Dunbar go back to setting it up. He's got a good jab. I just yeah. like to see him pump that jab a little bit, get a little busier with that jab to set up that right hand. 
Again, Ravignol, yeah, good, good, good combination there. Oh, real yeah, good yeah, combination looks there. Like, looks like Dunbar, oh, good right hand by uh, Ravignol the second night. Talk of Dunbar coming on. Oh, Great nice. Great combination by Dunbar. Does Dunbar have a big guy uh, uh, constituated here? Oh, oh good, good hook. Good left hook. It seems like every time Dunbar lands, we get a pretty good pop from the crowd. It's kind of hard to tell. We've got a lot of fans in the balcony there. But he did land a good hook there. Yes, very, very, very strong start by Raff and Yellow, but uh, Dunbar took the end of that round. He did. It's a tough round to score. I, I, you, you lean in. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Dunbar Good landed round. really clean at the end there, especially with that left hook. Um, my guess, my Nostradamus-like prediction, I think going forward, Dunbar might start having a little bit more success. Yeah, he I, looks a little bit... Oh, I was going to say the fresher of the two, but he looks exhausted in the corner. What the <laughs> hell do I know? Uh, yeah, so uh, Ravignolo, like, real diverse offense to start, but uh, Dunbar's got a great neutral guard uh, catching his, catching those shots exactly where he's supposed to be. Like, he's got his elbows nice and tight against his body, sits, sits down a little bit to kind of invite those elbows to the hips. Good competitive first round. Yeah, I think with Ravignolo, he, he did a great job with volume, uh, and Dunbar did a good job catching it. Now it's a matter of... Did Raffaniello outpace himself yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, Did he blow his gas tank a little bit? Yes, exactly. And then from there, though, can Dunbar capitalize? Uh, and it looks like at towards the end of the round, he was. Got to hit that music. Got to hit the music. Uh, both these guys can box a little bit, though. Good, Dunbar, good right hand by Dunbar. Dunbar is there. really... Bread and butter, but yes, like excellent good bread and it. butter. Yeah, like um, bread and butter is not a knock. I mean, that's no. kind of our, our favorite style of boxing. Raffaniello doing a good job too of of uh, of being a pest. He gets yeah, in yeah, there and he lets gets, his hands go. Gotta, gotta, and he's 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 bullying a little bit and kind of making it ugly, which is what he's supposed to do on the inside. And he's got he's, good straight yeah, right hands yeah. too, and he Dump. gets his hips involved. He yeah. sits and then fires. Uh, so good, far, good match. I was just gonna say it goes back to like you were saying. Uh, uh, great matchmaking all night tonight. Like, no no blowouts. In fact, a couple of decisions that um, I wasn't totally convinced. Yeah, and if you look at our track record, it's pretty good. So if we're getting them wrong, that means these fights are close, yeah. close, close. And, and, uh, really interesting style matchups, too. Again, like you said, Dunbar, really good long ones and twos. Great, like, tight offense. That's, I mean, Dunbar's guard is so tight. His elbows great almost touched. Yeah, Dunbar. it's really good. Um, but yeah, it's it's funny. He uh, it's it's he's, he's got some poise, and uh, I don't know if it's from experience, but he starts really methodical, and then kind of gets a little more comfortable and opens up his combinations a little bit as the yeah. round goes on. And Raffaniello, it's funny. He like he does a great job, but he just has trouble finding like those gaps. Yeah, real true yeah, home good, for good it. Right Dunbar's Dunbar. defense is just tight. Yep, like and tight in a literal sense. Yeah, yeah. Dun Dunbar doesn't doesn't overcommit to any shots no. either. Like he'll throw punches with 75% power, and he's not out of position. Good lateral movement too. Good right hand by uh, Raffaniello there, and a sneaky left hook by Dunbar. Yeah, yeah. another close round though. Uh, good, I, yeah, good right hand I, by Dunbar I, again, again. Dunbar just closing out the rounds it's, really it, well. It goes back to that recency bias. So I, I pro you're probably looking at two rounds and undone by as. Raffaniello's corner is just absolutely bathing in water. Driving me bananas with the water tonight. Water all over the corner. Yeah, no uh, towel in sight either, so who knows? Yeah, it all can't. over, just God, pouring water yeah. all over. Uh, that is so crazy. Whatever, dude. But, uh, yeah, they got to stop with the water, man. It's absolute. It's just a bird bath, dude. Um, and he's just, a pour, oh, he's just oh, pouring it God. all over him, dude. That is yeah. nuts. What are you doing, yeah. dude? So... We try right. not to be critical of uh, coaches, but like that that's, is crazy. It's, it's you do you, you like, don't do that at the pro like, level, it's man. Like coaching one hundred and one, like you can't be doing that. He's oh still God. pouring it on him. Stop pouring water on him. What the hell are you doing? Jesus Christ, man, that is bananas. Like one of the first things they teach you. All right. Well, everything was great up to that point, but uh, yeah, that dude. <laughs> Raffaniello's jersey's completely yeah, soaked Raffinello through. part of the Haymaker swim team now. That is wild. The polar plunge team there. But anyways, that's great. So, oh, hey, it's, it's Julie. <laughs> uh, great matchmaking. 
Good fight. Raffinello. Good jab by Raffinello. And Dunbar. There. I mean, a, a brilliant scrap. I mean, this could be like any show you'd see at a club level show. I mean, yeah. these guys are brilliantly matched. Good boxing from both guys. And again, as the as the round goes on, as the boat goes on, you see Dunbar. Oh, great right hand I by was Raffinello. Say, Dunbar really diversifies well. his offense a little bit. It's funny. He, like he, he relies. It's a great. It's 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 really high level stuff to see him start. In one gear and then transition sure. to the next. And I also saw Raffaniello like got his hips loaded though and threw a good left hand to the body, uh, and then he got his hips loaded to the other side, to come over on top with a good straight right, and he something the one two there as well. Uh, so overall, again, good boxing, man. Uh, really Great good boxing. combination by uh, uh, Dunbar. Dunbar there. literally got his feet off the ground. Yeah. That's what I mean too. When the balcony gets really loud, whenever Dunbar lands something in fat, yeah. again you can hear it there with that short right hand. But so, oh, so good Dun right Dunbar, hand by Dunbar, what you're seeing again. from Dunbar tonight is one of, the, one of the first ones that we've seen where it's deliberate counters. Yeah, he's, yes, exactly. He's, uh, there's been a plenty of fine defense. He's a great, and that, but, You know, that was a great counter by Dunbar. Yeah. He said, he, uh, like, deliberate slip and a two over top. But, made by, but, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, by uh, Raffinello. Yeah. Sorry, I apologize. Yeah. But, yeah, but Dunbar, uh, but Dunbar's great Dunbar's job. capitalizing yeah. on his defensive uh, prowess. Yeah, I mean, great, great boxing by both men. Dunbar just ooh, ooh, good right hand great, by Raffinello. Again. Great right hand by Raffinello. Unbelievably competitive fight that I think I would score probably three rounds to none on for Dunbar. Uh, yeah, I think I that's, would. And it's funny, like when you when we say stuff like that, when we say like, I awesome think it's a clear fight. win. For Dunbar, but Raffinello was a, awesome. gave a great economy. He looked awesome. Looked I love. Yeah, uh, Raffinello shaking his head no, like in disappointment. But he should not be disappointed at all. Yeah, Raffinello. Uh, the only thing to be disappointed in is Cornerman yeah. just covering him in water. Um, so Raffinello, I thought his diversity of offense was great. I thought his output was spectacular. He was going head and body. Um, uh, great conditioning. And he never, he was never hurt throughout the contest. So there's no way he should be disappointed whatsoever. Dunbar just did a, a, a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, Dunbar did an excellent job of not getting caught with any, like, we get we say don't get caught with any BS, right? Yeah, Another, and that, what that means is don't get caught with anything no one should be caught with. Obviously, when you're boxing, you're going to be caught with stuff. It happens. But don't get you can get punched in your face stupid. when someone's punching you in the face. No kidding. But it's a matter of not getting caught with garbage punches, and, and Dunbar didn't get caught with anything garbage tonight. Uh, Dunbar had a, a really tight neutral guard. Um, and I'll also say Dunbar had a good fight IQ, um, the highest of the night in the sense that Dunbar uh, waited to turn up the volume. Yeah, I'll say the referee, I don't know if the referee understands that the, the blue corner is standing on the red side and the red on the yeah. blue side. So just, <laughs> just keep an eye on this decision. Don't, might be, raise don't the wrong be surprised hand if he raises the wrong hand. Listen to the official announcement. Don't necessarily pay attention to what hand is raised. Yeah. Um, so... Um, yeah, so with Dunbar, too, he, he did a great job of, like, Mike said, con con consciously, rather, countering. For our boxers. Let's see what hand he raises and what corner they announce. After three rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards for a split decision. Wow, that is crazy. Declaring your winner out of the red corner. He raised the right hand. Yeah. And, you know, good on uh, Raffinello. He shook his head. Hell. Hell. No, like, it shouldn't have been split. And, again, he was he gave an incredible job. I, I was listening to this. I thought it was Maiden. It's very much uh, not. Raphael is a stud. Yeah. I was like, oh, that was an awesome, awesome Super fight. high-level boxing for both men. Yeah, he should not be disappointed whatsoever. Literally at all. 